neutralization reactions. Neutralization reactions. These reactions are very special double displacement reactions. Okay, they uh, follow pretty much the same premise of a double displacement reaction. We have uh, uh, some kind of a metal non-metal pairing. Okay, and um, and in in the products that exchanging of the two metals, the two metals switching places with uh, one another and pairing up with the, uh, each other's non-metal. Okay. Uh, whenever an acid reacts with a base, the same two products are always formed. The two that are always formed are a salt and a water. Okay. So now we look at in terms of salt. Well, what is a salt? Well, we've got a salt is any ionic compound. And an ionic compound is some kind of a compound that is made or formed when you have a metal combining with a non-metal. Okay. So here we have an example, HCl plus NaOH. Okay. We have here our acid. Okay. And this goes back to uh, what type of acid? Well, we have here a binary acid. Okay, so we have and binary acids. They start by using the name hydro, and they add hydro something ic acid. Okay, so we have hydrochloric acid. Okay, and we have sodium hydroxide, and the hydroxide is what constitutes a base. Okay, so if we're looking at it in terms of, and I'll use a different color here to represent, we have, um, and, and we talked about hydrogen not really being considered a metal, but we're going to treat it as a cation. Okay, so we're going to treat this hydrogen as a non metal. So we're going to treat it in the cation form, okay, as being H. So we have a metal, non metal. Sodium is the metal. Hydroxide is the non-metal. So if we look at what the double displacement reaction was like, we had a pairing between this metal and this non-metal. Okay, and we're going to have a pairing between this metal and this non-metal. Okay, in the end. So watch now as the two switch places. What have we formed? Well, we formed here our water. And we formed our salt. Okay, and a salt, as we said, is any ionic compound, metal, non metal. Okay, and we can write down uh, the HOH as H2O if we like. Okay, the last step is to balance the equation. Okay, uh, the equation is actually already balanced. So there's nothing that needs to be balanced here, but that is the final step. Okay. Let's look at a few practice problems. Uh, H3PO4. Okay. We have phosphoric acid and strontium hydroxide. Okay. So we look at it in terms of here, the cation. And so we treat that as a metal, non-metal. So we know that in the end, this hydrogen is going to combine with these with the hydroxide to form the water. And ultimately, this metal is going to combine with this non-metal to form our, um, our salt. Okay. And then the last step that's left is to balance the equation. The equation is balanced by putting the following coefficients in front of it. Let's look at the next equation. Barium hydroxide and hydrofluoric acid. So here actually now again, binary acid. Uh, over here, we have our oxy acid. Okay, so here we're looking at, so we have our base. So met, uh, non-metal, so metal, we're gonna treat that as a metal, non-metal. So this metal is going to combine with this non-metal, but then we're going to have this metal combining with this non-metal. So that's what's going to form the water, and the other one is going to form our salt. And in the end, we have 
barium fluoride and H2O. And then the last step that's left is to balance the equation. Those are the coefficients. Let's look at the next equation. We have sulfuric acid and calcium hydroxide. Same thing, metal, non-metal, metal, non-metal. Non okay, so we know we have what kind of an acid. We need to be able to identify that it's a neutralization by identifying our acid okay, and our base. Okay. Remember that the base contains the... Um, the hydroxide, our acid contains hydrogen, and we're looking at two types of acids. We're looking at binary acids, and we're looking at oxy acids. Okay, so in this uh, example here, this metal is going to combine with this nonmetal, and this metal is going to combine with this nonmetal in our end result. Okay, again, notice here water, water water in all these examples and the last step that's left is to balance the equation and that equation is already balanced and here our last example hydrochloric acid aluminum hydroxide okay acid okay what type of acid well it's a binary acid okay we have aluminum hydroxide hydroxide is our base so we know that this is going to combine our um, our hydrogen is going to combine with our, hydro with our hydroxide to form our water, and then this metal combining with this nonmetal to form our ionic compound, our salt, so to speak. So again, here, water here formed salt, 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 salt. Why? Because it's metal, nonmetal, and we created water. Okay? And with the last example, the last thing that's left is to balance that equation.